good morning good afternoon and welcome it's a day and i really need to clean my room i don't know if you can see i hope not i'm sure you can because i'm using the 0.5 and I'm thinking about going to Shinjuku to a really big bookstore because I really want to crush my Japanese goals. Just kidding. I totally have not thought about Japanese in a year since passing the test, which is such like, such like me, you know? In Shinjuku, there's a big bookstore that has a Japanese language textbooks. Yeah, I really want to improve. I'm kind of at like a, what can we say? I'm sort of at a plateau with Japanese. But anyway, yeah, so I have my own self-study method. Some I really recommend. So if you're interested in learning Japanese, I think you could use these. And I got them from my friends too, so thank you to my friends that um, told me about it. But one is Wani Kani. Wani as in crocodile or alligator. And Kani as in crab. The crabigator is what it's called. It's a website. And that one is purely for kanji. Kanji study, I think, can be so draining. It kind of hurts your brain because you're just looking at symbols that you kind of don't get but there is such an intricate meaning between each one so i really recommend wani kani because it teaches you the radical and not only that it's very fun and creative it gives you something to remember that radical by and like for me that actually really works here's an example this is the kanji and radical for dirt or ground every time you see this radical you can imagine yourself drawing a cross in the dirt with your finger and who spends a lot of time in the dirt that's right dogs so take that D-O from dogs and remember that the reading is either DO or TO. Once you are able to recognize that single radical, I think it's much easier for you to be able to read future kanji with that same radical. So yes, I really recommend Wani Kani. I do use Duolingo too, and I think Duolingo is actually fine and pretty good for learning new vocabulary because they have everything by category. So it could be like politics, food, etc. So they'll categorize it and teach you different sentences and you kind of put it together. I. I I challenge you to beat my stream. I'm almost at a year, so I've found like 350 days, I think. So yeah, I mean, it's not that impressive. These days I just do one lesson and go to bed. <laughs> and lastly, this is only like if you're in Japan, but if you do happen to come to Japan and you wanna live here and you want a cheap Japanese lesson, I would actually recommend Kumon. It's not like the most comprehensive or like it's not the best it gets the job done it, it requires a lot of self-study they give you the stack of worksheets and so you basically get to meet with the teacher on skype twice a month send you all of the worksheets and you can do as much as you want you always pay the same set amount which is like a hundred dollars usd and it's up to you how much you study so i guess it's kind of like a double-edged sword but if you're actually able to do a lot of worksheets then i think it's very beneficial for you so you do the worksheets any mistakes you make will be corrected and sent back to you and you cannot pass that level until you finish correcting all of them basically and then twice a week she'll do a reading lesson with you with that same material oh yeah but that was like a long-winded explanation sorry that was that was how i had been studying japanese and i guess essentially how i got to end too you know if you're thinking about learning japanese i think you can absolutely do it it takes a lot of commitment and language is like a muscle sort of i feel like you have to keep exercising to get better yeah i encourage you to learn any language really because i think it's a great skill to have but if you have questions about learning japanese and like any methods that i used uh, feel free to ask me but I am on the journey to getting my N1. <laughs> I don't know if I should be saying that out loud, but I think it's good to keep myself accountable. So, yeah. So today I'm going to go to the bookstore after I clean up a bit. I need to eat something real quick though, so let's get something to eat. I actually just Yeah, so let's 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 eat something. Okay, I actually like filled my fridge the other day with random stuff from the convenient i was just like over it i was like i don't want to cook this week so i think i'll eat this spicy soup this korean spice tofu soup and i got what looks like a kimbap oh it does say kimbap my spice tofu soup so we're gonna put it in it says 500 watts for 300 300 500 watts for three minutes 10 seconds Bowl is burning my finger. 
it's so cold it's time to clean and um i needed to put on this jacket because it's very cold in the kitchen because i only have heating in my main room but okay let's do this i need to clean oh my god did you see it's disgusting let's do this thingy Okay, I think I finished cleaning, but today I posted a video, the solo date in Tokyo, just me getting my hair done and stuff. I have 17 subscribers and honestly, it's kind of cute. I, just, I know it's not a lot, but oh, every time somebody is willing to subscribe to me, it makes me so happy. Yeah, I'm just having so much fun making these videos and I mean, I hope it helps in any way. Like if you learn something about Japan or even if you know, you just want to put it on to like fill the noise, to like distract you from something. I think if it's of any help, it's really fulfilling for me. So I think I'm done cleaning. I'm just going to throw away the trash and stuff, but that can be done when I go out. So I'm going to get ready and then let's go to the bookstore. I really want to find textbook and check out this big bookstore that everyone's talking about. Okay, I'm definitely dressed colder than it seems but i feel really cold today mm. all right let's go okay it's actually really cold so i'm glad i wore all these layers This bookstore has nine floors. Right, let's find this textbook. Okay, I'm not supposed to take photographs in here, but the language books are on the seventh floor, so I'm gonna check them out. Okay, let's go, it's so quiet. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay, I just finished shopping at the bookstore. And I think I went slightly overboard, maybe. I like to think this is for my knowledge. It was this one for the uh, N1 preparation. So I like that this had like some question practice and some explanations. This one is for Kego or uh, honorifics. And it's something I really struggle with because I there's so many different scenarios where you would use Kego, but there's different kinds of Kego depending on who you're talking to, so this one is for speaking mainly, so it has lots of like phrases you can use. And this is the same brand. This one is, you know how every language has their own slang, so it's just phrases to help you sound more natural in a speaker, not just like textbook Japanese. I was having a hard time choosing, but I chose these three. And then I decided to get two books in English. Uh, it starts with us. I did finish It Ends With Us on my iPad. And this one, um, my friend Nikki actually recommended, she reads a lot, and we had a conversation this morning, she recommended this book. It's called The Memory Police, and it's by a Japanese artist called Yoko Ogawa, so it's supposed to be like a dystopian type of story. So yeah, I bought a lot, it was actually really fun to get out. And I didn't even, I probably noticed this area. It's so pretty. It's like, there's like a seating area right here. And look at this, there's like Christmas lights, and you can have a, a seat over there too. It's just really cold, so nobody's out here right now. But since I'm here, I do kind of want to enjoy my time. So I'm thinking about just going to like a Starbucks, getting a hot drink. I was gonna go to Starbucks, but it was so busy, like many things in Japan. So I just said, never mind. But if I find another cafe, 
then I'll probably go sit down and read. But if not, I'm okay going home too. I'm gonna walk around a bit. Let's see what happens. I just sat down and I literally spilled my coffee. <laughs> anyway, this is what I got. Strawberry, raspberry, straw, what? Raspberry s'more donuts. And I got this salt caramel latte. I gotta clean this up now. <laughs> Okay, that was sort of a fail because I was sitting so close to the entrance that it was so cold. So I was downing that coffee and uh, donut. <laughs> but I did get to read a little bit and I am enjoying the book already. Okay, this is a month later. I filmed that video in January, maybe January 25th, and today is February 22nd. I just wanted to let you know that I'm still using those books and they're great. I wanted to share how I study using this one because I, I really actually believe in this method. And as you know, I was an English teacher as well. Okay, many foreigners are English teachers, but I feel like I really picked up a lot of useful things about language learning as an English teacher. Please tell me if you've heard of this method before. I've, I've only heard about it in Japan, and so I'm not sure if it's like mainly a Japanese method or if it's adopted from somewhere else. So this method is called shadowing. So I wanna show you really quickly what that's like. So for example, this page is introducing the phrase karate, and karate means just because. So first, they have all of these model conversations and i would read through them you know try to read them by myself <sighs> so for example so I would read it at my own pace. I would keep reading it until I feel comfortable enough and I'm like saying it very smoothly, sura sura, smoothly. Then I have the audio here pulled up on the screen. I'll play the audio and then read it together. Let's try it. And then I would keep doing that or repeating it until I feel comfortable and I feel like, okay, I'm reading at the same pace. Then you would get to shadowing and shadowing is like your ultimate challenge. So let's try. That was the wrong part. So I keep getting, I keep saying 
which is not proper. It should be derun dayo, dayo. I keep doing shadowing until I feel like I can say it smoothly. So I'll keep, I'm gonna try again. Like, hopefully I can get it right for you guys. じゃ、もう一回行きましょうね。大丈夫。大丈夫。疲れが溜まってるんじゃない?うん。今日は仕事。今日は仕事休んだら何言ってるんだよ。疲れてるから。休むわけにいかないよ。1。これすごく美味し